I am not here to share my personal experiences or opinions about masks, vaccines, or mandates. We have all done that exhaustively. Everyone here has long since made up their minds and aren't likely to budge. Instead, I'm here to urge our elected representatives to consider cutting through the fog of this conflict by leaning on the experts, the real deal, verifiable experts. Don't get me wrong, every single member of our community should have the right to express themselves openly and feel comfortable in doing so. But that does not mean all of those opinions hold the same weight on all of these issues. If a mathematician says that three to the second power makes nine, but a random citizen argues that three to the second power makes six, are we going to say agree to disagree or that the experts are divided on this issue? No, I would hope not. Are we going to give the same weight to peer-reviewed, data-driven, verifiable claims from scientists with literal centuries of combined experience against claims levied by folks whose knowledge is entirely anecdotal and do their own research with unsubstantiated content from YouTube or Facebook, whose last experience with chemistry or biology, like myself, was not in a laboratory or a hospital, but back in school? I would hope not. In a survey course, I hope not. Credentials don't necessarily guarantee expertise either, and not all credentials are created equal. Holding a PhD does not necessarily make one a medical doctor, nor does proximity give you authority on issues. A janitor or food service worker at a medical facility is not an immunologist or medical professional, any more than attending a game at Lambeau makes me a Green Bay Packer, no matter how loudly I say it. One of the greatest lessons I learned as a non-commissioned officer in the United States Air Force was this. When you are in a position of authority and tasked with the responsibility of leadership, you don't need to know everything. That's impossible. But you do need to know where to find the answers. And when your decisions matter, you lean on the experts, the mentors, the proven. While great leaders do listen to all voices, including dissenting voices, they also know how to question their sources and they value experience and expertise. If you up there are not medical doctors, virologists, immunologists, epidemiologists, nurses, nurse practitioners, and so on, in other words, people who have a right to claim legitimate expertise on these issues, then you must reference the near consensus opinion of the folks who do. I implore you to lean on these experts to empower your decisions. Take their recommendations and make them policy. I can't imagine the immense pressure you are under, even enduring harassment and threats and people yelling at you. It's disgraceful. But you were placed where you are for a reason. This community has trusted all of you to be the adults in the room, even when doing so could make you unpopular. This issue is not about making people happy. It's about keeping them safe and healthy. It's about our children's education, not future re-election re -election prospects. Doing the right thing can be hard, but that is the burden of leadership. Thank you.